Jenna, Storm Lake here could be one of the spots that could receive some higher totals from the snow event this weekend. Here, uh, Jason Ett and I are the Public Works Director did issue a snow emergency earlier. Why did you feel the need to do that? We felt due to watching several of the models uh, out there for the weather patterns that it was in our best interest to notify the, the citizens of the community that this was real, this was happening, and it's time to start thinking about uh, the winter season and to get those cars off the streets, get them into parking lots, get them into driveways and such like that, in order so we can do an effective job uh, of cleaning off the streets and keeping the routes all clear. So what is the plan? How many plows will you guys have and what are the routes that you guys will be cleaning? Uh, the initial plan when the weather warrants it that it's starting to get slick conditions like that, we'll, we'll put two plows on the road here. We've got approximately 95 lane miles of, of traffic. We'll put two plows on the road almost immediately when, it, when the weather warrants it, uh, just doing the emergency route. So that way then there are uh, main common streets that people can get to and access that are clean and safe and, and such like that. And then once the snow uh, ends, the, the event ends, then we'll go ahead and we'll mobilize the other uh, eight employees to come out and start pushing into the residential neighborhoods, the, the parking lots of city-owned properties, such like that, and the, and the trails and such like that. Now, this is the first storm where we're seeing significant accumulating snow. What warnings do you want people to heed, especially as we get back into the winter storm? Uh, the biggest warning that I would tell is stay home. If you don't have to go out, stay home. Uh, stay where it's warm. Do what you got to do there if you, unless, unless you have to go out. Uh, make sure that uh, you, you have a preparedness kit in your car just in case you are out. Even if you're in town, uh, bad things can happen. You just never know. But stay home if, if at all costs. Let, let my staff, let the county staff, let the state staff, that runs through and around Storm Lake and, and the area over this way and even all throughout Siouxland. Let those guys and gals do their jobs. Let, let them make the road safe again. Right, you guys heard it here. I mean, stay in, whether we get one inches or six or more than that, it doesn't take much to get those roads slippery, so stay safe out there. Reporting live in Storm Lake, meteorologist Elisa Rafa, KCAU 9 News. Thanks, Elisa. And for